Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor and I'll be the one guiding you through this amazing course, The Ultimate Guide to Blender 3D Rigging and Animation. First of all, if you're new to 3D Tudor, here's a little bit about us. We have a combined 15 years experience working in the industry and as of this moment, we have around 25 courses out there with around 350 hours of content. We have a large community, including YouTube, where we have over 300 free complete guides. This means that you can be sure that this course on rigging and animation will certainly give you a massive boost in what you're able to do with animation. So now if you're a beginner or someone who's been 3D modeling for years, there's going to be a ton of things you can learn from this massive course. This course was built from the ground up with beginners to Blender always at the front of our mind. And so we knew the best way to teach people would be to have an easy to hard progression approach and have everything laid out to make it as intuitive as possible. So with the blend file that comes with the course, you will see all of the different exercises you will learn throughout the course. As you can see, everything is just one click, letting you focus on your animation skills. We have produced basically everything you're going to need, all of the assets, all of the backdrops, everything is right there for you. What's more, you can start pretty much any way you like, but the best thing is you can use this course as a reference in the future. Just hop to the part you need an animation for and everything's right there guiding you through the process. So now let's take a deep dive into the vast array of animation skills you'll be learning throughout the course. First up is the basics of animation. This part of the course will cover the basics of animation, no bones or rigs, just keyframes. We'll also be looking into interpolation modes and how we can use them to smooth out animation. Next up, we have swing animation. Using the skills we learned from stage one, we can take this up a notch by creating our first rig and single bones. This is the basis of most animations you'll find out there. Moving on to wheel turning, when working with anything spinning, it's important to understand how frames keys work. In this stage we'll be explaining how to create a spinning wheel. This not only has to look realistic but needs to be achieved in the shortest amount of time possible. Moving on through the course we have basic weighting and in this part we'll be looking at how weighting works and how to add weight to bones. This is important to create a certain level of realism. We'll also be looking at when and how to use bendy bones. Finally for the basic part of the course we have shape keys which are a very powerful animation tool that we have at our disposal. We not only change the shape of objects in ways that rigs simply cannot do, but we're also able to combine multiple shape keys. Now as we take the course up a notch, we're going to be talking about multiple bones, and at some point in time, you will have models that will need a lot more than just one single bone. In this part of the course, we learn how we can create animations with multiple bones working independently from each other. Of course, it couldn't be an animation course if we're not going to be covering any type of wildlife. So in this part of the course, we'll be looking at fish, and animating any wildlife in a realistic way can be pretty difficult. Luckily, we have a fair amount of tools in Blender to speed up both the workflow and realism. You'll be introduced to the graph editor and we'll look at modifiers and how to combine them with displacement. Next, we'll be moving on to morphing. And morphing is the process of taking one object and turning it into another. Now, this is not as simple as just clicking a button. And in this part of the course, we'll be looking at how to set up this process and also how to change the textures along with the object. Now, the one most of you are waiting for is actually tank tracks, and here we are. This has to be the number one asked for animation across all of our channels, and this is why we've included it in the course. We'll be going through how to stick our tracks to any terrain, and you'll finish this part with the skills to create handles and drivers to have your own tank tracks move in a realistic way. Moving on, we're on to fire and light flicker, and there's always be abundance of models that require flames in some shape or form. This means it's a key component of the course to learn not only how to create flames from scratch, but also how to animate them. Empties and displacement will be the key to realistic flames without the need for complex simulation. Next, we're on to moth and lights. You know, it's the little things that can really bring a scene to life. And in this part of the course, we'll be covering object tracking, and this can be used to create things like flying moths around the light source. Where the light goes, the moths will follow, all thanks to the Boyd Brain System, which is an amazing feature that comes with the particle setup. Also on this course, we'll be covering clouds and smoke and things like that. And in this part of the course, we'll create a really nice stylized smoke effect using mainly Blender particle system with keyframes. And what's best, you can also then see your smoke in real time. Now again, we're gonna be taking it another notch in the next part of the course, and this will be covering complex chains. This part will involve us bringing much of what we have learned so far and applying it all together. This will involve us creating a complex rig 
and we'll also introduce you to inverse kinematics or IKs for short. We'll also look at bone tracking and really take the level of learning up a notch. Finally, it couldn't be an animation and rigging course without a walk cycle, so we left the best to near the last. Here we'll be focusing on character rigging and animation. This will be done over a few lessons and there's a massive amount of learning to be taken from this. Not only will be rigging your own character, but you will learn just how easy it is to make a basic walk cycle. This is a must if you intend to create your own games and characters. And what's also a must if you want to get into 3D modeling is of course a camera turntable. This is the final part of the course before the main event. And if you ever want to show off your own 3D models, you're going to need a simple effective camera turntable that can be easily set up. And finally, we actually put within the course a massive scene so you can actually take all of those skills that you've learned and test them out by creating things like rolling boulders, shaking ceilings and much, much more. This will be a really great way to finish off the course, putting everything that you've learned into practice. So as you can see, it's a massive course, but a course you'll look at time and time again. But like I said in the beginning, if you've ever wanted to get into animation and rigging, and even if you're a complete beginner, there's never been a better time to get started with the ultimate guide to Blender 3 rigging and animation. So what are you waiting for? Come join me on this course and see how far your imagination will take you. Happy modeling everyone.